Hello everyone. Welcome to the Pastor's Parsonage right here in Glendale, Filipino Seventh-day Adventist Church. Today's discussion will be focusing on the topic, is Ellen G. White one of the founders of the Seventh-day Adventist Church and considered a prophet, a fraud, or a faithful witness? There are only two ways to view Ellen G. White. Either she is telling a lie or she's telling the truth. And I would like to invite you to just join me in this uh, exposition or I should say experience that may enhance our understanding of her life, her times, her works, and especially her writings. Ellen G. White, is she a fraud or is she a faithful witness? I'm strongly recommending uh, for those of you who are watching to please uh, take hold of her writings and uh, read it for yourself so that you will judge the content of her writings uh, by yourself. I'm reading right now the book uh, given to me by our conference president. It's entitled The Story of Redemption. I'm rereading this and and I'm trying to understand the, the awesome facts that she wrote here, considering that her educational background is only third grade and she was very frail and fibbled and uh, she had not been education educated so to speak formally and so join me as we try to experience and expose Alan G. White's writings in this book the story of redemption in chapter one it's entitled the fall of Lucifer and uh, Alan G. White based this on the uh, on the Bible and she claimed that she was um, led by an angel, her angel, and uh, she was shown what had transpired before and what will happen in the future from the time of Lucifer's fall to the time of the redeemed in heaven. So I'm reading in chapter 1 and I want you to pay attention to what she, she wrote here. It's entitled The Fall of Lucifer. Lucifer in heaven before his rebellion was high and exalted angel, next in honor to God's dear son. His countenance, like those of the other angels, was mild and expressive of happiness. She is directing us from, from her point of view with her angel beside her, graphically and with intimate detail telling us who Lucifer, the future Satan, who is he all about, or, or even his countenance was described. And I continue, and I'd like to quote, his forehead was high and broad, showing a powerful intellect, and unquote. She, she gives us this description because she was a witness. Now, there are only two things, as I've said again. It's either she's a fraud or she's a faithful witness. I continue my reading. A special light beamed in his countenance, referring to Lucifer, and shone around him brighter and more beautiful than around the other angels. Yet Christ, God's dear Son, had the preeminence over all the angelic hosts. He was one with the Father before the angels were created. That's a statement of, uh, uh, of uh, Ellen G. White's acceptance of the, uh, uh, the preeminence of Christ that Jesus did not originate or, or was not created, but he was from everlasting to everlasting. I continue here. Lucifer was envious of Christ and gradually assumed command which devolved on Christ alone. She, Ellen G. White, develops her concept 
of the great controversy by the claims of her visions and that she was led by an angel coming from God and she was given the privilege, an exalted divine privilege to see what had happened before and to look forward in the future. She used the term Lucifer was envious of Christ and it reverberates in her theme uh, in this in the great controversy context and that is where I would I would suggest to you dearly beloved to consider as you study along um, Ellen G. White a fraud or a faithful witness let her words and her writings be the uh, the judge that will convict you whether she is who she was claiming to be I'm sorry for the short time, but uh, we'll just continue sometime. May God bless you and thank you for subscribing.